Good evening all, it's Rebecca Savai here of Char and Chatter. I wanted to do a really quick video post um, about page rank um, and guarding it. Um, first of all, here's a definition of page rank. Google Page Rank is a system for ranking web pages used by the Google search engine. It has been developed by Google founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin while they were students at Stanford University. In the context of their researchers, Page and Brin checked the idea that if a search engine will determine the most relevant pages according to the relationships between websites, it would be more effective. So, Basically, page ranking is a system that looks at the number of links from other websites to your site. This is very important for bloggers to know. You can actually go online to pagerankchecker.com, enter your, your blog's website URL, and you'll get your page ranking. It goes from 0 to 10. Obviously, 10 is going to be more important than 0. Um, and the reason I first learned about PageRank is when I was working for one of my employers. It's, um, it's a gourmet food company, but I won't mention names. But anyway, and he told me that as a marketer, most marketers won't work with bloggers unless their page rank is a four or above. Chow and Chatter is a four, which is great. And as we all know, as bloggers, we work really hard to write great content, put our hearts and soul into connecting with our readers and being part of the community and becoming friends with other bloggers. And in that process, hey, we get links to our site, our site becomes great in Google's eyes, and it gets up in the page rankings. But as those page ranking gets higher, advertisers want to make friends with you. That can be a good or a bad thing. If it's on your terms and you agree, you like the arrangement, it can be a good thing. I want you to make you aware of a form of advertising called link uh, to text. Advertisers will approach you and ask you to uh, have a lifelong link to a word either in a blog post or they want you to put a, a text like a word on your sidebar and link to their website. The reason they're doing it is to get up on Google page ranking. Get what I'm saying? It's a money-making thing. While it can be quite tempting to make a quick buck, like we all want to make money, I mean, it's our kind of human nature, in the long run, is it worth it? Um, when I was in India, actually, I met Sriveli from Cooking for All Seasons, and we were talking about this. She's a really intelligent lady, and she works in IT. She told me that her page ranking used to be higher, and then it got dropped down low but it's, it's better again now. So while you could work hard and get a good page ranking, if you are not careful with the links you're paid for, if you choose to go down this route, there was firms called Link Farms that specialize in this kind of work, which aren't really legit. You could adversely affect your page ranking. In fact, I have a couple of friends who work from home for Google I don't know if I didn't have any clue that this, this, this job existed. But what they do all day, like as a job, is they check websites using mathematical equations to see if their page ranking on the search engine is legit. Did they work and earn that high Google search engine? Or are they getting these false links to get up there? And a lot of times, sometimes, have you ever noticed when you want to search for like a food item now these days, maybe smoked salmon, for example, or some kind of food product? Some of the top ones on the Google search engine are online gourmet food stores. And you have to really go down to find like encyclopedia or actual learning type material. So just some food for thought. I was approached today by a company it's a citrus company um, for a link. And the conversation started off very nice, uh, complimenting my blog. And I was really seriously considering it because the monetary offer was pretty decent. It was very good and they wanted to pay me like next week. But the more I thought about it and my previous knowledge of this issue, I decided to decline it because it's just not worth it. And this is one of the reasons I built the app 
and expended money of my own pocket to build it. Something great to sell, which my heart's in, and I'm proud to sell. Anyway, this is another long blog post. You've probably all gone to sleep by now, but I really want to put this out there. I want to make you aware of it. When you get these offers, think about the long term. Don't just think about that $30, $40, $50 or whatever they're offering you for that link. It's not often really worth it. This is controversial. Please don't hate me. I know a lot of us do it. I personally won't choose to go down this route because I just want the message to be bloggers, you worked hard for it. Guard your page ranking. I was actually tweeting with another blogger today who reiterated these same stories of people trying to use her content and give, um, really trying to take advantage of this. Thanks for listening. Comments. Have you experienced this? Have you done it? Has it been good for you? Have you declined? What's your thoughts on it? That's Rebecca's thoughts.